meteorologist Sarah McKenna. Weather from where you live. And good morning. We are seeing a few rain showers. Take a look here. You can see how those rain showers have moved in through the overnight hours. They're sticking around the area. We're going to go ahead and see some of those showers across the area. For the most part, though, I think we're going to end up seeing the fog. We have a lot of moisture in here now because of this. And so because of that, we're seeing more of the fog and, of course, a lot of cloud cover as well. Satellite and radar showing you how, how these showers are really coming in from the Illinois area. They really stretch all the way back and through about Champaign. We're going to keep seeing these showers through those morning hours, but the places that aren't are going to be dealing with the fog. Here's a look at some of those visibilities, and you can see in Lafayette, we're now at five miles visibility. Earlier this morning, it was at six miles, so we are limiting it back just a bit. Now, when you actually take a step outside, what five miles visibility really means is that you're going to notice a haze in the distance, but it's not really going to affect your driving too much. Now, there are going to be patches where we see heavier fog, and that's something to keep in mind, but it should be just a patch, so you should be able to get through it pretty quickly. Here's a look at the temperatures. Not bad. 66 degrees in Lafayette, 63 up into Fort Wayne, and 67 in Terre Haute. Now, across the nation, we have a lot going on, and a lot that's going to be affecting our weather as we head into the weekend. Here's a look. Again, the majority of the rain showers, the majority of the activity stretches really from about our area, maybe over into Iowa, and stretches down through Texas, except there's this one more system that's back near Colorado, actually causing some snow showers across Colorado. What all of this is doing? Well, this is where we're really keeping our close eye on. A system like this oftentimes produces a chance of severe weather. This is expected to lift up to the north. That's where our chance of severe weather comes in. Now, the good news is, I know severe weather on Friday and Saturday is very bad news. The good news is it now looks like it's not maybe going to lift quite as high. When you take a look at the severe outlook for tomorrow, you actually notice the yellow down here to the south. That means there's a higher chance for severe weather to the south than what we're seeing now up into Lafayette. You also notice it's kind of skewed a little bit. Before it was from Fort Wayne to Lafayette and all the way down. Now Lafayette's included. It's right there in the mix, but the chance isn't quite as high for the severe weather, although I am still expecting to see some storms. This is for your day on Friday. Going into Saturday, you notice that we are seeing more of a chance, and that takes over the entire state of Indiana. It also takes over the entire state of Illinois. So two days there in a row that we're seeing the potential of severe weather, something we're going to have to make sure we definitely monitor. We're not going to deal with it today, though. Early fog, mostly cloudy, some scattered showers possible, 77 for your high. Tonight down to 61. Tomorrow only up to 78, but a cloudy day as well, and rain and thunderstorms not only possible, but likely. Here's a look at the rest of their seven-day forecast. You can see that the rain and showers are expected to last through Saturday, as we were just showing you the severe weather potential there for Friday and Saturday. By Sunday, it does look like things are going to clear out a bit.